Leviticus chapter 19, verse 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with the diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Anybody know what that means when he read the scripture? I'm going to read it again. Let's read it again. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. So he said, don't let your cattle, uh, your cattle gender with a diverse kind. What diverse mean? Different. different. So your cattle, he don't want your cattle mix, right? With different kinds. He don't want uh, uh, cows with sheep and different. That's what he's saying. Now read. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. So you know what that means. He don't want you to mingle your seeds, meaning put apples and oranges on, confuse them together, and he don't want all that. He want everything separate, because God is a separatist. That's right. And if you want to call him a racist, that's what he the number one. Race, racist. Read. Neither shall a garment mingle of linen and woolen come upon thee. So what that mean? I guess it means don't have like two different like uh, linen. Like, it should be like one, like 100% something. That's right. Exactly right. So, uh, upon you putting fringes on your garment, you can't let, um, you only can wear 100% clothing. Right. If it's polyester, it's polyester. If it's rayon, it's rayon. Linen, linen. Cotton, cotton. That's what, that's what it is. The, the, get, let's get that in Deuteronomy chapter uh, 22 and verse get 11 or 12, one of them. Because God, he's going to give it to you. He, he, he going to show you that in multiple places. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 11. Thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sorts, as of woolen and linen together. So he don't want that intertwined together. They can't be intertwined. Just behind it. That's for you. Is it for everybody else in, in our rest of the nation? No, it's only for the Israelites. It's only for these people. You're only supposed to wear 100% clothing. You can have cotton pants on, uh, rayon shirt. Sure. It gotta be a hundred. Whatever, it gotta be a hundred. That's a law. We gotta make sure we do them, because we 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 special people. Get uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. What's your question? So you said that, like, say you said you can't have like a cotton pants. And you can. Okay, just as long as. Yeah, as long as it's hundred. Okay. So you can have. This could be cotton. This could be rayon. But it gotta well, be hundred percent cotton. As long as it's hundred percent. Okay. You all hundred on your body. Your children. They gotta wear it. Your wife gotta wear it. Hundred percent. They gotta learn these laws. You gotta teach them. You gotta learn so you can teach them. Cause we got the Bible is a true book, and it's a judgment for not. Let's let's get that judgment. Get that judgment. Hold that first, and let's get that judgment for not having fringes on, or cross dressing, or uh, a woman in pants, or uh, a stranger. Strange. We we should read it right now. Read. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are as clothed with strange apparel. Read it again. And it shall come to pass. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Shall mean it's going to happen. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. What is the day of the Lord's sacrifice? Do you know? Any idea? Uh, the, uh, uh, when, Christ when, when Christ come back, right? Read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. That's these people on the side. Read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. And all that are such clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel is not having fringes on. So if Christ came back right now, you don't got no fringes on. See what I'm saying? You don't got 100% clothing. Uh, the woman got on pants. We got to fix that. See what I'm saying? So that's the that's the judgment because when he said over there in uh, Psalms 147 and 1920, uh, he shows the word to Jacob, his statutes, his judgments unto Israel. He's saying the laws and the judgment for the law. So he's gonna give you a law and then he's gonna give you a judgment for it. This is gonna happen. So if uh, we ain't supposed to eat uh, pork or swine, right? According to Leviticus chapter 11, you can read that. So. 
it's a judgment for eating swine. Let's get that. Get to Isaiah chapter 66. Because it's, it's a judgment for that. We can't have it. Let's read that. Isaiah 66, 15. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind. The Lord is going to come with what? With fire and it, with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury. So he's going uh, to render or give out his anger. He's going he gonna to uh, uh, give out his anger with fury. Read. And is rebuked with flames of fire. Uh -huh. For by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh. When he say plead, he mean kill. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Because a lot of us ain't going to listen and take heed to what this Bible saying. You're going to walk away from here and not put no fringes on. Um, a sister got on uh, pants. She's not going to stop wearing pants. She, 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 don't, she don't care. You don't care. You're going to leave here and not do what this Bible said. And you got this like you've been marked right now because we're telling you. But this is the judgment for that. Read, read it from the top. Uh, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Uh -huh. For by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together. So the soul. This this a this a Israelite that that know he is real, and he hiding behind a tree eating swine's flesh. He gonna get put to death because we ain't supposed to eat swine, but he's sneaking and doing it like the Lord don't see. So them that 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 uh when he come back he gonna slay the, the many that don't do what, what they supposed to be doing, and that one that's sneaking and eating. Not according to uh, Leviticus chapter 11. They, 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 they not, not obeying the laws by keeping the commandments. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel with Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.